Hi, welcome to CIS 1060, Introduction to Business Analytics Using Spreadsheet Technology. My name is Dr. Kalita, and I will be giving you just a brief introduction to the course, how to get started, and some general information as to what you can find in As You Learn. Now, you can already see in this As You Learn page that I've listed the um, name of the course, also the sections that I will be teaching this semester, as well as my name. Now, given that this is recorded in the spring of 2021, if information is um, updated, I will provide a new updated video. If this video is still available, the information should be relatively the same, so feel free to go through the video and kind of take a look at what I've provided. First, let me start by saying that um, occasionally I will send out announcements. Those announcements will go to your email account. And also, if you missed announcements, you can go and select on this link, and then you can easily find the previous announcements that I may have sent out to your class um, through this particular um, format. Now, to get started, let me discuss some brief, brief information regarding our communication and class meetings. So currently, we're in a situation where we will have some synchronous virtual class meetings. Those will be conducted via Zoom. And during your regularly scheduled class time, which I've conveniently listed here in As You Learn, you can select on this link and find uh, the class or get connected with the class. So, of course, Zoom requires you to have a good internet access, requires you to have a headphone and microphone, or at least microphone and speakers, as well as a webcam. All right. If you happen to be in a web section like uh, Section 116, feel free to join any of the class meetings above if you choose to. If your schedule conflicts with any of the previous meetings, always uh, feel free to send me emails to ask questions or even attend my virtual office hours. Now, speaking of email, I have provided you with my email address here. Please include CIS 1060 at the start of the subject line. I typically respond to emails within 24 hours and possibly 48 hours over the weekend. Um, I strongly recommend that you use some formal etiquette in your language. Um, I've been known to ignore any emails that seem to be, um, let's just say, unprofessional or lacking in decorum, uh, especially when you're talking of students from the Walker College of Business at Appalachian State. I also am uh, making use of Remind. Remind is an app that allows students to be able to connect through their mobile device uh, directly with their instructors. Um, I will use Remind to uh, be able to send out announcements to everybody. And also, it'll be a great way to have direct communication with me. If you have additional questions or you need to set up an appointment with me outside of office hours, Remind will be a great tool to be able to connect. All right. As always, I will have virtual office hours. This will uh, be able to allow students to be able to reach me virtually over the internet. Um, for that, I have included this link here, which is a Zoom link, and you must use the password that I have provided. Currently this semester, I have a set time on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 9.30 to 11 a.m. You do not need to have any type of appointment. You can just simply click on the link during those times, and I will I will be there. All right, so let's um, let's uh, minimize the communication link and let's get started with CIS 1060. So um, first, you'll see that we have a course syllabus, and uh, feel free to look at that course syllabus, get all of the information that you need from there, and send me any questions. I will review some of that information here. The second thing is the course schedule. What I've provided here is a PDF format of all of the um, assignments that are due this semester, and that should be able to help you kind of keep a schedule if things are not listed in As You Learn, and there'll be a reason for that. Throughout this semester, you may have technology issues or other requirements that are needed. You must have a Mac or a PC. If you're having issues with your Mac or PC, um, please feel free to um, contact uh, Appalachian State's Information Technology Services, then they can help you out. Uh, this is a little backwards. Here is the Information Technology Services link, and uh, this here is the technology requirements. Okay, 
You must have a copy of Microsoft Excel available to you. Okay. If you don't have Microsoft Excel, you can get it for free by connecting through this link here. And it's free to all Appalachian State students. So go ahead and select on that link and follow the instructions and it'll get you started with using Microsoft Excel. Appalachian State also has UDesk available. UDesk is a, a lab computer that is uh, hosted in the cloud. You can simply select on this link and then go ahead and log into the lab computer there. It will have all the software that you need to be able to uh, get through this class if you cannot put Excel on your current PC or Mac. Now keep in mind that UDesk is an online application and you still need to have a strong internet access and a good web browser in order to be able to access it. Okay. Now uh, as far as uh, textbooks and other materials that we'll be dealing with this semester, we will be using Cengage Unlimited. Um, here is a lot of information regarding how to use MindTap and Cengage Unlimited. And we'll go over that briefly in this video, but I wanted to give you some direct links here. Here are some requirements. Um, there is going to be uh, some getting started components and a requirement to disable your pop-up blockers. These types of things will uh, make it easier for you to access Cengage Unlimited. This course will offer you an opportunity to test to become a MOS uh, certified. That is Microsoft Office Specialist. Um, uh, Microsoft Office Specialist Certification typically provides students with better job placement and higher salaries. Feel free to watch these videos and get information that you might need to know about taking the Microsoft Office Specialist exam. For your reference in CIS 1060, um, in this semester, we are offering the MOS certification test as the midterm. All right. So the next thing I want to be able to share with you in order to get started is that this is the direct links to um, the Cengage Unlimited Access. You will need to connect to this particular link here and this particular link to get started with the course. So let me show you what that looks like. If you select on MindTap CIS 1060, it will bring you to um, what I call the Excel components for this course. Okay, you'll notice in this particular view um, that it's going to have a welcome to your course, operating systems, and Excel. If you don't see this immediately, you probably have to fill out some information for Cengage Unlimited and go ahead and complete filling out those forms and then it will bring you to this particular screen. What I want to bring your attention to primarily is uh, the coursework will be held in the Microsoft Excel section. You will have seven modules that you'll have to complete through the course of the semester. And additionally, inside each module, if you expand them, only three items from each module will go to, towards your grade and they're easily identified with the orange circle. In addition, a due date is provided in this format as to when they are due. You'll notice that the first assignment, which is training, is going to be due January 24th for this semester. If this is a different semester that, uh, for you, it will probably be the first Sunday night or relatively close to the first Sunday night of the semester. All right. The second link I wanted you to click on is the CAM MindTap Business Analytics textbook. This is nothing more than the textbook itself, and this will be for the second half of the semester. This includes concepts and other types of information that you'll need to know in order to get a better understanding of analytics. Now, the only thing that we will be using in this particular uh, structure is the textbook materials. So here is chapter one, for example, and you can see that it is a simple textbook. Okay. Once you get started with MindTap and also the uh, Business Analytics textbook, um, you should be ready to go. Just note that your first assignment will be due uh, almost immediately when you start the class. The last thing that you'll need to do um, as you begin this class this semester is complete the Student Responsibilities Quiz. Just This is just a piece of information so that way I know that you have a good idea of what's going on this semester. So with that, I'll leave it to you. And if you have any questions, feel free to send me an email 
um, or get hold of me in other fashions. And my email address is here. Thank you and good luck. I wish everyone a great semester.